in my previous video, I proved uh, this formula for compound interest where A is equal to P times 1 plus R over N to the power NT. So let's write the formula. So this is the well-known formula for compound interest. So A is equal to P times 1 plus R over N raised to NT where A is the amount, P is the principal, R is the rate of interest in decimal, N is the number of times it is compounded, and T stands for the number of years. Okay, now, what happens when N approaches positive infinity? When it is compounded for infinite number of times, would the formula uh, change, or what's the formula? Uh, if n is compounded n times, uh, infinite times. So let me give you an example. Suppose, let's take an example. Suppose the principal is $100. Okay, and the rate of interest is at 10%. Uh, and 10% as a decimal is 0 0.1. And what happens if it's compounded every hour? If you want to compound it every hour, uh, how what, what will be the comp amount what will be the amount so using this formula the amount would be 100 with principal is 100 times 1 plus r is 0.1 so one year has how many hours so year n would be uh, one year has 365 times 24 hours let's say one year has 365 days if you multiply that, I already worked this out, so this is 8,760 hours. Okay, so the form, this using this formula, this would be 8,760 raised to nt, where t is in 10 years. So let's say t is 10 years. t is 10 years. So this would be 8,760 times 10 which would be, you can use a calculator, I worked this out, this is 271.826312. Okay, so let me show this on a calculator. So it's 100. So first let me show you 365 times one year has how many hours? It's 8,670 hours. So using this formula, this would be 100 times 1 plus 0 0.1 divided by 8760 raised to uh, 87600, which is 261.8266312. Now, if it's every second, so for one year, I worked this out, so every, if it's every second, suppose if you compound it every second, what will happen? One year n is going to be 365. One year has 365 days, and each day has 24 hours, and each hour has 60 minutes. So this will be 525,600 seconds. So let me show you that. So 365 times 24 times 60 is. 525,600. So using this formula, your amount after one year, or after 10 years, sorry, again, year, year t is 10 year, t is 10, your amount would be 100 times 1 plus 0 0.1 divided by 525,600 raised to 525,600 times 10. I'm just using the formula. And I want to show you something, what will, something interesting happen. So let's use the calculator. So it's 100. So can you estimate what will happen? Would there be a great change between this and this? Okay, so let's use a calculator. It's difficult to compute without a calculator plus 0 0.1 divided by 525,600 raised to, I have to put three zeros, 525,600.
triple zero, which is two seventy one point. This is two seventy one point eight two eight one. Uh, 543. Now, as you see here, as this is becoming bigger and bigger, this amount is not significantly changing. 271.8281543. So, as this is every hour, this is every second. So, what will happen? So, let's write the formula again. So, amount, amount is P times. 1 plus R O N raised to N T. Now what happens when N is approaching infinity? Okay, so when N is approaching infinity, positive infinity. This is what we want to. Can we find a formula when N is approaching infinity? So to prove this result, a new result, I'm going to say let this is an exam. Uh, this the proof would be a little of calculus, but I would like to do it without using calculus. So when n is approaching infinity, let's let us uh, do a substitution. So let r over n be equal to x. Okay. So let's let this to be equal to x. This implies when n is approaching infinity, positive infinity. What will happen to x? Now this number is getting bigger and bigger. So what will happen to x? As this number becomes bigger and bigger, this whole thing is going to become smaller and smaller. So when n is approaching infinity, this implies your x is approaching zero. This is one simple logic or concept that you have to understand. As this denominator is going to get bigger and bigger, r over n is going to get smaller and smaller. That means it's going to approach zero okay and if you make n the subject if you make n the subject because we have to substitute in place of n because we have done a substitution so the and can i say n is equal to r over x so i'm going to do these two changes so the amount would be equal to p times one plus x raised to r over x times t and i'm going to write in the bracket x is approaching zero okay i'm not using calculus so because i want uh, any student to understand the simple principle or simple formula so a is equal to to make a bit of simplification so can i write this as one plus x raised to 1 over x raised to rt. So yeah, what I've done is I've simplified this as 1 over x times rt is same as rt over x. <clears throat> okay, so now, so here we, I'm going to write x is approaching 0. x is approaching 0. Okay, so now I want to explain the number e, the definition of e, that, that different definitions of e. e is a number which is called an exponential constant or a Euler's number. So e is defined as uh, the number 1 plus x raised to 1 over x when x is approaching 0. So let me show this on a, that means when x becomes smaller and smaller, this function would be approaching e, which is two point. This is will be two point seven one eight two and so on. Okay, so let me show this on a calculator first. So on a calc in a scientific calculator or a graphic calculator, you have this key natural log of natural log and e to the power x. So if you press shift e to the power one is a number which is 2.7182.81828. This number is a transcendental number which goes to infinity. This never repeats and this is a magical number. So, so let me show you that on a calculator first. So let me go 
1 plus 1 raised to bracket 1 divided by 1. Say I'm taking x is 1, so this formula 1 plus 1 raised to 1 divided by 1 would be 2. Now if I go 1 plus 0.1 raised to 1 divided by 0.1, that will give me 2.59. So if I go 1 plus 0 0.001 raised to 1 divided by 0 0.001, this is 2.7169. So let me go faster. 1 plus 0 0.00000. How many zeros? 1, 2, 5 zeros and 1 raised to 1 divided by 0 0.5 zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1 is 2.7182. Okay, and if you keep this num, if x is approaching 0, this will be approaching e. So this thing, so now you can say, well, a, let me change color, so you can say a, is equal to now this is this is the definition of e this has become the number e so your a is equal to p times e to the power rt where r is the rate of interest in decimals and t is the number of years so let me take an ex the same example so example your p is say hundred dollars okay your Rate of interest is 10%, so this is 0 0.1, and t is equal to 10 years. So what happens if it is approaching, when n is approaching positive infinity? That means if it is compounded every microsecond, what will be the amount? So using this formula, so your amount would be equal to 100 times e raised to 0.1 times 10. 0.1 times 10, which is not, which is 100 times e to the power 1. Okay, 0.1 times 10 is 1. So let me use a calculator. So if you go 100 times shift e, so let me put this in the bracket, 0.1 times 10, that's not, nothing but 1. It's 271.82, and that's what uh, we saw as I started 2.71, 271.8281. So this is a magical formula when something, this can be used in hundreds of places. You can model this equation or you can use this equation when you want to find uh, the growth of a bacteria or the growth of a virus. So this has been used, or this can be, this formula can be used when something is compounding uh, infinitely. That means for every microsecond or zillionth of a second, if something is uh, compounding, then you can use this neat formula, where P is the principal, A is the number, R is the rate in decimal, and T is the number of years.